Okay, today is uh, May 21st. There's been about, about three lessons since we started, yeah? Okay, since we restarted Victoria. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all the things that we've been working on right now. Um, um, the main things we're working on Victoria, her timing on her on her, on her strokes, uh, she has been was gone for about four, four, uh, four months, right? Oh, I was gone for about four months. Um, she was cupping quite a bit. Her timing was late. She's getting to the ball um, with a little bit. Her, her footwork was, was relatively poor. Uh, her contact point was way too close to her body. Her uh, She had continuous motion, but it was like a delayed reaction uh, on the forehand side and on the backhand side. So she rushes the stroke on the forehand side from position two to contact point, position one to contact point. On the backhand side, she rushes from one to contact point as well. So we try to go ahead and teach her. Do we teach you float? We haven't taught you float yet. Oh, so we're, we're, where we are right now is uh, trying to emphasize lift to the right, trying to go ahead and eliminate the cupping. So we'll have a, a little a bit, make sure she focuses on the angle here. Uh, she was hitting a little bit ago. She was make, able to maintain. Focus on uh, making the angle there. Put a little more separ. No, oh, you got good separation on there. Um, and um, uh, uh, seeing like she was lifting to the right, she's standing up quite a bit straight. Her, her stomach's a little upset today. Um, so her energy level may not be as, as, as good as it can be, but she was hitting pretty good. Just watch her hit right now. And she was actually, it was very good. Um, backhand side, I do, I do notice that big elbow uh, pop that you do. Um, we've had technical instruction at this point, and we're going to say it's going to head and going to feed her from the baseline, uh, from, the, from the net, and, and just feed her from here. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to work on um, all, the, all the basic fundamentals. You want to throw out the instructions that we've been giving to you, okay? And this is for you to watch. This is for you to go ahead and, and check, and just you can watch it over again. We'll try and keep it under about 10 minutes, about 12 minutes, okay? So go ahead. Just give her all forehands, all right? So stop. So make sure you do a little extra spacing on the forehand, okay? All right, go ahead and hit down the line. Okay, all right. Find it, wait, for first fundamentals, all right? Um, aggressive ready position, all right? Bend your legs a lot, make sure you stay down. Let's do about 10 balls, all right? 10, keep 10 balls and then we'll rest so that your stomach doesn't get too upset, okay? All right, bend, ag aggressive ready. Do aggressive lift to the right, hold the one piece, pass contact point. Stop. All right, so remember, and, and you probably are trying to do this, we just want to make sure that you're doing correct, uh, ch chest forward. All right, aggressive ready means the racket is in front of you. Yeah, there's a little bit more uh, more gap between the stomach. She tends to hold everything a little bit too close. Um, one of the problems when we have her do aggressive ready position is that when she turns to position one, uh, she'll tend to push the, the racket out too much and, and straighten this out a little bit too soon. So, um, so then we have to give her the corrective instruction to push the elbow back uh, um, so that uh, it stays in a good alignment when it goes from position one to position two. So go to position two positions right now. So this is ready position, go uh, turn, turn, wait, wait, no, stop. Go uh, um, lift to the right. So lift to the right, her chest is supposed to face forward, the racket is to the right, this all happens in milliseconds, all right? Bend the legs, all the way to the shadow and bend the legs. Okay, now rotate, all right? This essentially throws the racket into position one right away, bring the leg around. All right, depending on the, with where she's going to be hitting, it's either the leg is going to come around or this leg is going to go back. So here's position one right here. All right, it's good lift to the right, meaning it's the, her face is right here. The racket is to the right. When she's in ready position, the racket maintains her position to the right of the face. So when she does her unit turn, her unit turn brings the racket really quickly back to the right. What she was doing before was she was going ahead and cupping. So she'll be turning and the racket would be right here. So what happened is that from here to here, there's a huge distance, right? Throws off her timing. She has a nice loose uh, arms. And so she does create a lot of power. I don't think we're losing any power by, by going ahead and shifting to the right. We're going to improve her timing by being able to do this. So from here, go down, to, and, and here she'd have heavy cupping, and cupping is when the, the hand turns in, uh, the wrist turns in like this uh, quite a bit. So we have a little bend back here, like that, and uh, the danger of, of, uh, of emphasizing this is that she may end up going back like this, which we don't want her to do. Corrections so far have not eliminated her power. She's able to have, maintain quite a decent, decent amount of power. She has a natural power um, without bending her legs, without having correct rotation from the bottom up. So we add all that stuff up, her power is going to increase, but I actually want to restrict the amount of power that she does right now because we want to be able to make sure she has body control from the bottom up. We're going to add the bottom up. So over here, position one to position two, go to two. All right, so from here to position two, um, what, she, what normally happens is that she, that she would delay so much and she'd be in a cupping position, the racket would be here, that she'd be, have her stroke would suddenly go really quickly right there. Her contact point would be too close and she would flick the right, flick like this, like flick it like really fast, like a, a mini windshield wiper motion. Um, so she'd be using these muscles instead of these muscles, they'd turn off. And so what we're trying to do is do the one piece, and the one piece is this. Um, the, the, the arm is composed of two individual pieces from the shoulder down to the elbow joint, from the elbow joint over to the hand. These are two individual pieces when you're in position one. Um, here, uh, it's a two piece, and then when she goes to position two, the arm turns into a one piece. The angle here, right, goes ahead and increases. It can go uh, relatively 180 degrees, which is completely locked straight. Uh, it can have a bend. 
Um, but once it, it, it gets to the position that's comfortable for her, we don't know exactly what her position will be right now, whether it's more straight or have more of a bend. Um, what will happen is that she will lock this position in place. And it's not like locking it by compressing her muscles and contracting it really tight. It's by just maintaining the angle here. So as she goes forward, she goes to swing the racket this, uh, the, to contact point. This angle maintains the same. So now this piece and this piece, which were before position one, two pieces, are now one piece. So she moves this as one piece. And the correction to get rid of this, this, this uh, premature windshield wiper motion is to maintain after contact point, to maintain this one piece past contact point. So it's okay if the arm goes across her body like this. This is completely incorrect as far as the stroke goes. Wise goes, but we're trying to break the one, the, uh, the, the premature windshield wiper um, lower extremity uh, uh, muscle domination that she has, right? And this tends to eliminate quite a bit. She tends to grip, grip tightly on her hand, right? And come over uh, like she normally does. So this is a, this is a correction. Um, that I'll, I'll tell her, hold your one piece past the contact point that she understands what she needs to do. She's maintained a, a good knee bend when she goes in heads and hits. We're trying to do these hop, hop, hop. Show me the hop, hop, hop. All right. So we're in ready position. Always hop. Aggressive ready. Aggressive ready. She forgets aggressive ready. So always hopping. Aggressive ready. Go, 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 go. So, uh, so emphasis. So we get lift to the right. Go. Boom. Lift to the right. Knee bend. Lift to the right. Lift to the right. And turn. Go to one right away. Boom. So right now, when she shadowed the lift to the right, she went ahead and, and stood up completely straight. So this is, a, this, is a, this is a habit that she needs to kind of break. All right. So those are all basically what we're working on right now. Her contact point is going to be a little bit more in front. Try and get it. Uh, react as soon as you can. Lift to the right as soon as he hits the ball. Uh, he's, he's feeding very close, so you can go ahead and guess a little bit. He's all going to be forehands. Like you can prematurely go to the right. right. We want to get the racket from over here, position one, to the point where it actually, we call it float, where it sits here and it actually floats. At a, it's so early that it floats. right? And the idea behind floating is that you have, you have a lot of muscles in the arm and the body. right? Uh, muscles, uh, when when you have a slower progression and buildup of muscles uh, being used, you have a greater amount of muscles being used, this is going to be uh, uh, translated into a lot of easy power, is what it's going to translate into, rather than like this last minute, very aggressive, um, short muscle compression, so much contractions, which is powerful, but uh, it doesn't use all the muscles that uh, she can, she has in her body. She has little long arms, and so she has long levers that she can use to make Tremendous amount of easy power, right? Her, I expect that she will probably be one of the hardest hitters in the Southwest has ever seen. Okay, all right. So go ahead. Whew. Oh, sorry. Man, I'm tired. I need a drink. Let's just pause and take a break. Huh? All right. So we'll do this very quickly. So you understood all of that, right? And this is really more for you. So you can go ahead. You'll understand what it is. Okay. I want you to be able to have something you can refer to. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and do this public. So go ahead and don't don't uh, don't mess up. All right. Okay. So start off a little bit more to the center center. Okay, so go ahead, feed her. All right, lift to the right, remember, lift to the right. All right, no sudden acceleration at the front part. No sudden acceleration. So right now we notice that she's hitting uh, quite a bit on these. She has a tendency to hit close stance on it. Uh, I'm not really gonna work, uh, emphasize that while we're trying to go ahead and break this, this flick right. Well, that one was better. All right, a little bit better. Hold your one piece. Okay, so actually, it, it all looks actually pretty good right now. All right, that one she didn't hold the one piece long enough. Hold the pass contact that she did. You're reacting really good. So she maintains this for, for, for quite a bit for, for uh, her muscle memory. Seems like it's, it's cooperating quite a bit. That was a little bit of a premature flick. All right, a little wind there. So keep going, go. that's good, good, good. You keep doing, still keep doing it. So right now, a uh, little bit of flick there. Not holding the one piece long enough. A little bit better. All right. So we're able, as she goes ahead and starts to control that flick, all right, does the one piece good. This is much different than the stroke than, than what she started with about uh, a week ago. There's no, she's doing a really good job of not doing uh, too much uh, uh, cupping. All right, about two more. All right. And one more. Okay, so how do you feel about uh, what you're doing right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? It doesn't seem like it's too difficult for you to be able to do all this stuff, yeah? All right, so that's really good. So, so what, what, I, what I'm starting to notice, what I notice now is like, as you start to do all, everything more correct, the way, not more correct, do the, the instruction, the technical changes correct, then the other things that we need to change start to, start to be a little bit more visible. And the, and the main one is your closed stance and your knee bend, okay? So try and go ahead and hit uh, everything, uh, neutral stance, all right? Show me neutral stance. Closed stance, remember, okay. Closed stance is this, all right? And we've got a, a guest over here, over, over, you know, with the feeding balls that's sitting over there watching YouTube videos or whatever, going like, look at this, huh? Where? All right, 
this is neutral, right? This is what I use is neutral. This is closed, all right? This is semi-open stance. This is an open stance, okay? So we want neutral is okay. Um, neutral stance is, 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 is the shot for forward motion or hitting straight that is used predominantly, right? So, so it's semi-Western, but your strokes are designed, right, for neutral to be one of the primary strokes. You watch pro players when they play hit short balls, they're going to hit neutral stance. They don't go to semi-open stance when they go hit a short ball. You, you can't get into that position, okay? They run forward, they stop, they plant their feet, they transfer the weight forward, they rotate from the bottom up, and they go ahead and they crush the ball, okay? So um, when you have the foot here, um, you're not able to rotate from down here from the knee up. So this, this eliminates the possibility of having decent rotation from the bottom up. So this is a huge amount of power that you're losing, okay? You have long legs, you have, you're able to create quite a wide stance, right? Your, your legs are, are strong, right? So you should be able to, 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 to set up semi-open stance, rotate hard like this, neutral stance, you will, you will be able to rotate hard, right? And then bring the leg around because it's gonna to wanna to come around, especially on the, on the, uh, the semi-open stance. So I, what, what I said was gonna happen, I, I'm gonna focus on neutral stance, lift to the right is the technical side of her stroke will, because it's so new, the changes will probably start to break down a little bit and that's okay, all right? We'll go ahead and go ahead and do this. We'll do about, about, about 15 balls, try and do neutral stance, all right? And then we'll stop it because I think we're probably close to about 10 minutes, all right? Let's start to the left, Victoria. Start to the left, right there. All right, ready? Just down the line. Those speeds were good. Neutral stance and bring the leg around. All right, a little bit of close there. Aggressive ready. All right, good neutral. That's, a, that's closed. That's closed again. And close. Stop. All right. So you hit two in a row that are closed, right? Did you feel them? Yeah, you thought they were neutral, and and they were close to it. They were they were, but they were like this. All right. Even this amount, like this, right? Is is too much. We we don't want it. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do, since he's feeding directly to you, go ahead and set up in a semi-open stance. Okay. Now what do I expect this? You'll get more neutral stance when you just a semi-open stance. All right. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. We'll go about ten more balls. Let's to the right. Let's to the right. That's neutral. That's barely semi. That's neutral. That's to the right. That's barely semi. That's barely semi. That's to the right. That's barely semi. That's you, that's semi. That's about neutral and semi. That's semi, small semi. All right, that's about the biggest semi she did. Okay, so the semi stance is, is quite difficult for her to do. All right, so your knee bend is not there. All right, how did that fit? I didn't feel, I didn't see all the balls, how, where they went. I didn't know they were watching. You weren't watching the balls, but how did it feel? They felt like a little bit harder to control. A little harder to control? Okay, now that's natural because she's working on her, working on her feet, trying to control all of these different new things on the technical side. All right, so that actually was pretty good. Okay, so we'll stop the table right now. We'll go ahead and get a drink. If something's not feeling good, we'll give her a break.